fees at state universities may get cut by two-thirds, but the proposed plan wouldn't lower prices for everyone. Instead, it would just cover students whose families make under a certain amount. Chris Pickle is live at UC Davis to explain how this plan works and who's paying for it. Chris? Well, at colleges across the state, there have been protests that tuition is too high for higher education. And some lawmakers agree that high tuition not only hurts students, it can hurt the state. What happened in the past 10 years where that, like, keeping tuition affordable became such a lesser priority? Jennifer Urita just learned in class that over the past 10 years, tuition at UC Davis has jumped from about five to $15,000. Increasing tuition is costing some students their college experience. Like people kind of base like what they choose to study on how long it will take them to graduate because they can't afford to be here for longer than four quarters. Legislation introduced by Speaker John Perez aims to make higher education more affordable for middle class families, specifically families making $150,000 a year or less. Under the bill, students at stages could save $4,000 a year. A university student could save more than $8,000. The estimated cost of the bill, $1.2 billion. There are some people that would look at this and say it's an increase in taxes. I don't think so. I think it's closing a tax loophole. Assemblyman Doss Williams says funding would come from closing a loophole that allows out-of-state corporations to change their status on whether they register as in or out-of-state, depending on what gives them a better tax break. According to the assemblyman who co-authored the bill, to keep California competitive, the main thing businesses ask for is highly educated graduates for their workforce. We need to do something big to change the downward spiral of funding in the university system. And since this would be a tax hike, it would take a two-thirds vote of the legislature. Now, Williams expects Democrats to be behind this, but if you were to take an educated guess, it's going to be very hard to get Republicans behind anything that would raise taxes on corporations. I don't doubt that one bit. Okay, Chris, thank you.